My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Firstly, before we begin, because this is going to be a very serious video, um, a couple things I want to point out first. In case you haven't noticed on my left hand, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Pink Fox and I are not getting a divorce, we're still together, nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. Um, it's more just the fact that I'm probably going to stop wearing it for a while. It's actually causing... Well, it was getting rusty, and it, it's more of a circumstance that I think when it comes to work, I might try to avoid wearing it, because that's kind of where it got a lot of wear and tear on it, and it, I don't know. Wedding ring is way too special for me to get ruined. But anyway, with that part out of the way, because I am going to be lifting my hand a lot, and I didn't want any questions on that matter. The topic I want to talk about today is actually a very, very, very big mistake that I have made. Am I going to go into detail? No. I, th I think it's way too private of a situation. The people who do know are the people who need to know. That's it. However, in vague statements, I do at least want to give off my thoughts of how my current state about it is. Now, between yesterday and today, you'll see a different, completely different response in this video and the next video today. But the reason for that is this. What's, what I'm talking about has to be taken extremely seriously for me. I, and the reason for this is when I do make mistakes, they're usually pretty drastic. But the thing is, when I do make those kind of mistakes, Depending on the response, I'll either learn from them, or if it's like a minor response that doesn't impact me very much, it's probably something I'd end up doing it again. Now when I learn from these kind of mistakes, bear in mind, with the kind of detail I input into my head, um, the exact action that is made won't happen again. Like, on the nose, on the dot. It, for example, say... This is hypothetical and has never happened. But say under some front I decided to egg someone's house. Which is highly illegal, by the way. Uh, because it's, you know... It's a couple different things, actually. I'm not going to go too much into detail. But... Regardless where I live, yeah. Um, I'd pay for the action, and given how much it would affect those who I care about and how drastically it would impact them, meaning it would eventually impact me in the exact same way pretty quickly too, actually. Because of that factor, I would look at it and go, okay, not doing that one particular action again. However... With T, let's move on to the hypothetical scenario of TP and pretend that other scenario actually did happen. Prior to this, once again, this is something I never do because it, for the same reason it's illegal. However, the I, it gets the idea of what I'm trying to point out across. That's why I'm using these examples because they're unrealistic and never going to happen. But they still get the idea across. Sure, previously that version of me egged the place. But the, the only thing that that ten, had a particular thing to teach me would be not to egg the place. Very specifically that. Meaning, yeah, I probably it, it, that kind of me would probably get the urge to TP, and since I didn't. I felt bad about egging it and not TPing it, I'd TP it. Long haul, that would get the same response, at which point I'd be like, okay, now I feel extremely bad for that, don't do either. It, pretty much, this is the kind of example I'm trying to give for what gives an idea of where my mindset sits when it comes to learning and acting on it. Prior.
compared to like the TPing thing, I would still do it because the thing that got that taught me wasn't TPing, it was egging. Very specifically that. Now there was there is one exception to this. If under the direction a person like the the same kind of group of people um approached and went, okay like frustratedly or like I, I, I got impacted in a negative way off of their response like in a learning manner though but what these the, whoever it may be had told me like the way it was worded would imply that not only te- not only dagging but teeping or any kind of loitering in general under that front which most people don't do, I would actually, uh, under the hypothetical scenario that the egging happened, but the person who explained it made me feel rot, uh, like rotten for what I had done had actually explained it in a way where any kind of loitering is wrong. Instead of me just not egging, that would mean me not doing any loitering. Anything under the topic of loitering whatsoever and this applies to anything I do learning promises anything I don't break promises but it also kind of is based on how I take them the promises have to be set in stone exact wording for me and the exact wording I use will be the promise that's made if the wording like a loophole if it's just slightly different it can seep through the cracks in my brain do I like this? No. There are reasons why I think this way. I won't get into it in this video because I already can tell this video is going to be extremely extensive anyway, but it kind of gives an idea of why I'm talking about what I'm going to talk about. And that is just that this mistake that I had made caused a negative impact that ended up reflecting on me in a very, very negative way. And I, long story short, I ended up feeling like I did a wrong so bad that there was a point where Pink Fox actually checked up on me um, because of this, and my response when she did, and this is a constant for me, I've always been bad at forgiving myself. People have told me constantly, well, if you can forgive others, you can forgive yourself. If that's true worldwide, then I must be different from the rest of the world, but I am horrible at that. In an instant, I'm willing to forgive another person, but when it comes to forgiving myself for an action I've made, until I know for a fact that that action has been rectified, like any damage that is done has been fixed, the action that I had made would haunt me pretty much forever. And as of right, as it sits right now, as big or little as the mistake actually was that I made, which, like I said, I'm going to keep under wraps. I'll explain why in a minute. Regardless of how big or small it was, I It's going to haunt me until I fix it. It's something that needs to be fixed in my mind, and probably in any person's mind who is impacted by it. Now, why am I being so vague about this? Honestly, I'm embarrassed. This is not something that happens to me often either. And rather than trying to take any other outward action where I don't know what the outcome's going to be, I 
there's a part of me that tells me just be vague don't talk about the actual details of the actual events and for the record was brought up earlier on I'm not talking about the ring that I don't have on reiterate it's just because this is a business thing during videos for right now at least uh, if not permanently but during videos and normal work I'm not going to be wearing it the thing was getting rusty anyway I need a new one at the rate things are going but anyway the events that had happened once again not going into detail I'd rather keep it secret I'd rather keep it private aside from those who already know but I don't get embarrassed easily at all normally when I do get something that should embarrass someone I usually make a joke out of it and I'd be fine and it wouldn't come across as embarrassment for me but this I can't joke about what had happened I won't and the amount of embarrassment that it put on me I'm never going to forget what had happened maybe sometime in the distance, distant future when it's so far relevant it doesn't matter then I can I'll be willing to more talk about it but this kind of embarrassment I haven't felt this way in over a decade the last time I did I had hurt my own mother in a more emotional way rather than physically I would never attack anyone I want to make that very clear when I say that I don't remember what I said or what I did to cause it to happen because it was so long ago all I remember is after the fact, after being lost in my own mind for a bit, I started to feel more guilt than any time I had ever felt at that point. I wanted, I, 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 to my own extent, I realized my fault and I wanted to go apologize. I, I wanted to go check up on her, but. She was already in the bathroom crying. Little me standing there in front of the door wanting to say something. But nothing would come out. That kind of mindset that's how I'm feeling right now. Mixed with the same kind of embarrassment that I haven't felt since then either. Now, does the event that happened have anything to do with my parents? No. It's just an example that happened a long time ago that at this point has probably been long forgotten. At least long forgiven. I'll let you guys decide the phrase, but the event that just happened, to me it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, it would hurt anyway. But to me, at least me, specifically, the event that had happened, I'm more embarrassed than I've ever been in my entire life. And until I rectify what mistakes I've made, real life me is going to feel this way. You may see like enjoyment or optimism, 
whatever over the next course of the next who knows how long but it's not going to change the fact that I'm not torturing myself, by the way. No one likes that. But... I've never been good at forgiving myself. And I'm not able to until... whatever has happened has been fixed. It impacted me as a person in the long run hard enough to where... Amber came up and che came in to check on me at a point earlier today, and she asked me how I was feeling. My exact response was, I feel like I've broken down the Great Wall of China and I have to rebuild it. The whole thing. Top to bottom. Entirely. I've never made that comparison before in my life because I've never felt this bad or this embarrassed. That's out in the open blind to what the mistake was to those who don't already know. And I'd rather have it that way. And also keep in mind what may impact me may impact someone else completely different. And the reason I say this is because I'm trying to keep this as under wraps as possible, aside from those who need to know, and those who need to know already know. But that doesn't change the fact. Up until I fix what I broke, shattered, I'm, try I'm trying to think of different metaphors. <sighs> Let me see. Until I have stitched the sail of the boat that I had ripped a hole in, I'm not going to be able to move away from this. And this sail was kind of an important one, I will say that. At least for life progression, to me. A lot of people want to say what's done is done, but to me, I can put on a farce saying, hey, yeah, clean slate, or yeah, nothing happened, totally, forget, forget. Do I mean it? No. Admittedly, no. Will I take the approach? Of course. I won't talk about it with anybody who doesn't want to. I won't approach it with anyone who would rather have it silenced, but am I personally ever going to just forget? No. Of course not. Any mistake I've ever made in my life, I've always been that way. Always. I can make a minor mistake, or I can make an extremely major mistake that could basically kill me, but somehow I survive. doesn't matter. All of them impact me in a similar enough way to where that's not true. They all have the same kind of processing outcome, I should say, where I'll make the mistake, feel like crap until it's fixed. It'll get fixed. I'll slightly forgive myself but I will never, ever, 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 ever forget the action that I made. The example I gave earlier about my mom is the perfect example of this. I, like I said, I still don't remember why she got upset or what I said or did to make that happen because it was so long ago. But...
I guarantee whatever it was, it wasn't as bad as what I recently have done. But the amount of pain, because it was, because I could feel the pain of another individual, hurt me just as much. A little bit less, actually, but the reason for that is just because I was a child, I didn't know better. Now grown up, seeing the mistakes I make now, one single mistake on anything, or anyone, either, or anything or anyone that I care about deeply enough, the outcome I visually end up seeing is bad but forgivable in a way e even if it's unforgivable unforgivable it's going to cause the kind of impact on me that will make me go I won't forgive myself until I fix this and even when I do I'm never ever ever going to forget meaning there will come a time where I will start getting frustrated at myself for whatever the mistake is. Once again, I'm trying to be vague because I, I'm too embarrassed to talk about it. And yes, I know it could be it could seem like I'm making a bunch of hints. But the reason I keep saying like it's like I keep saying words of it seeming extremely important and then making claims that says it's not is because I'm trying to keep it hidden. Take your judgment, which may it be. It's up to you. But either way, I'm not talking. I'm not going to say what it was. All I'm going to say is it impacted me in a very emotionally negative way, which anyone who knows me, it's hard to do that. Unless you're me. My own flaws are my own weakness. And I don't like it. It hurts me. Time and time again. But not this badly. This is the worst I've ever felt. And I feel like for me to fix it is going to take a very, very long time. And until that happens, I'm going to be embarrassed with who I am. At least the negative sides. I'm never going to be embarrassed about like this side of me that is usually on here as a host going, hey, yeah, welcome aboard the nostalgia train or talking about history talk or random discussion and rants. All that energy. I don't try to make it a farce, by the way. And... I try to make it as clear-cut, natural response as I can. Even the later video today, that's natural. But because this is so dead serious to me, I'm going to seem a lot more down about it. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make in this is just that In simplistic terms, I made a mistake that impacted me in a way that embarrassed me, that may take me a while to fix, and till then, I'm going to feel constant embarrassment. I won't show it very often because I can cloak it, I'm still showing natural responses and reactions, but always going to be embarrassed for the kind of actions I make if they're not good. And I hate that part of me. And I'm sure there are several of you psychologists out there, or people who come across this video, which I've actually had comments from before. Um, for example, I got a comment from 
I apologize if I say this wrong, but Casper Jos? KJOS. I'm sorry. I may be saying that wrong for all I know. Sent a very lengthy comment when I was doing, it wasn't a dead serious video like this, but I was talking about the other me. The me that's more optimistic is something that I had to revert back to. I'm still working my butt off to try to get that part back. Made a very lengthy comment that was actually very humbling to read. But I want to make it clear. I'm not trying to mourn. I'm not trying to ask for any pity or woe. This is just a video. In the case of me saying very, very vaguely of what's been going on, even if it's been 26 minutes since I started this video. Just to get the idea across that for quite some time I'm going to feel stupidly embarrassed to be who I am. So there's this negative side of me that I hate that triggered in the right way will come out for what feels like no reason. I am taking certain actions to help rectify that, but unfortunately, these actions, and this is why I said it was going to take a long time in the first place, take a long, long time to actually fully finish, if ever finished, because this particular action, which I'm not going to say what it is, once again, I want to keep the whole what actually happened under wraps and saying anything other than the vague details I'm getting might hint at it and once again I'm too embarrassed I am very very embarrassed of what I had done I don't feel embarrassment enough to be able to know how to respond to it if I did I probably would be more willing to um, explain the details of what happened and what the actual thing that happened was but because I know for a fact that when a lot of time when someone gets embarrassed people have a tendency to respond extremely negative to the person who is embarrassed by their actions under this front I'm not I can't handle that I am way too weak minded a lot of people I'm pretty sure I've said this already a million times at some point. A lot of people have tried to point out to me that I'm stronger than I think, but the amount of evidence that has piled onto itself over and over and over and over and over again over the years for me, all of that says otherwise. I hate it. I've always, I've always hated this, some circumstances that make me very weak-minded that I've gone through. Every last one of them. All of us have trials in our lives, I know that. Trials and tribulations, but the ones that I had make it feel like I can't even be the same person I used to be anymore. And that's why it's so embarrassing for me when stuff like this happens, when I make these mistakes, the more impactful or the more drastic it is, depending on the circumstance, can bring out that very few amount of times of embarrassment that I have. And I don't know how to approach it other than just keep quiet about the actual event at least. Staying silent overall, brushing it aside, forgetting it ever happened, act like it didn't happen, that's not who I am. I can't do that. I can't simply just move away from anything, any mistake that I have made. And in a way, the other person involved there was one other individual involved with this circumstance. 
sure they responded differently than what they could have and they had admitted it by the time but by this point in time but if I hadn't responded the way I had in the first place then it wouldn't have happened anyway but the damage is done <laughs> and it's something I can't undo maybe it's something I can mend over time but It's something I can fix. Just hope it doesn't ruin anything, any good progression, future progression that I have. It's I'm so weak minded that if that did happen, I wouldn't know what to do be lost. Even, like, YouTube, the reason I started this channel in the first place was to make myself laugh, and it has worked over time. Still does. Prior to making the videos for today, I actually was, um, watching some of my own content to do so, and it worked. That's why the later video is at least a bit optimistic and by natural instinct. However, this isn't... I'm not, going, I'm not going to hide how I feel, but I am going to hide the details of why. I'm not ready to talk about that. In the distant future, maybe. When it's brushed aside, it means nothing. However, not yet. Not yet. I'm already embarrassed by my actions, and every time in past that I've made any actions like this, I I don't know what to do. If it wasn't for Amber, her parents and my parents. Now the only reason I th those five individuals, being that they were the only ones who helped push through the whole circumstance, they're the only ones who. the only reasons why I'm still like sitting in this chair with at least some hope left in me if any with at least some encouragement knowing that some support is there for me because Without that, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to confront the situation on my own. I've never been good at doing things alone. Ever. Even this channel. I can't do it if I'm just on my own. That's why I'm grateful for the amount of support that is provided for this channel. I mean, it does get nasty comments every once in a while, but every channel does, so that's beside the point. The point I'm trying to make is that I have a lot of gratitude for those five individuals, the five people who I love and adore more than anyone else, you know, outside of my siblings and my, my, like my brother-in-law and his wife. 
and my nephew, soon to be nephews. But outside of all of them, all the additional ones, I mean, and you know what, Aaron, he's like a brother to me, so him too. But I'm just talking about like family, genetic, and by marriage. If it wasn't for all those people, It's not easy to do anything on your own. Without that support, without that comfort, I could get very, very lost. More than I can describe. It's the only reason I know that at some point, the mistake I made will be rectified. That doesn't exactly clear up the fact that I will never forgive myself for it until it is. And the fact that I know it may or may not, I don't know, take a very long time to fix. Well, it's been 36 minutes. I'm, I'll, I'll stop talking about this. I just... I figured I might as well talk about it that way if I do seem a bit down in any of the future videos for the next at least couple of weeks. At least you guys know why. Anyway, for those of you who stuck around for this whole video, thank you. I've got a lot of work to cut out for myself outside of just YouTube and my day job. But I'm going to head off. I need to clear my head so I can at least focus, or at least try. But once again, thank you guys for tuning in the video, and I'll see you guys later.